In the damp Pacific Northwest, wood decay fungi or rot is the most common of the wood destroying organisms. Lumber that's well protected and kept dry can last for hundreds of years. But the ongoing rainfall in this region leads to wood at the exterior of the home being wet much of the time. Here's a site the professional home inspector sees all the time. This wood has rotted as a result of high moisture levels. Outside decks with no roof or overhang are prime targets for wood decay fungi. The problem is not limited to decking and structure. Handrails and guardrails may be impacted as well. In some instances, serious rot can lead to unexpected consequences. Whoops! Rot is moisture related. If the environment has led to 20% or higher moisture levels in the lumber, then the wood is likely to rot. And that's true on the outside or on the inside. Note the rot probe on the inside of this wet window. For the record, there is no dry rot in Washington State. All instances of wood decay fungi are moisture related. Crawl space and substructure areas can hide a number of problems. Standing water in a crawl space causes high humidity levels not only inside the crawl space, but up inside the house. That can lead to rot and other serious fungal issues. Once lumber has been irreparably damaged by rot, the reality is that often there isn't much of the wood left. Usually the most practical way to deal with wood decay fungi is to hire a contractor to remove all damaged wood and to replace it with sound material. Here are a few tips for homeowners. Work to eliminate wood to soil contact. Keep paint, stain, and sealant on exterior cladding and trim in good condition. Monitor roof and attic areas. Also keep an eye on the ceilings inside the house. You want to catch any roof or plumbing leaks before big problems develop. Watch for evidence of water intrusion in substructure areas such as crawl spaces or basements. Regularly clean gutters and downspouts to better control runoff water. Promptly eliminate any plumbing leaks and establish good ventilation in attic and substructure areas.